Uh, it's my honor now to uh, introduce our uh, guest uh, minister speaker today, uh, Carolyn Stern. And, um, many of you may know her. Carolyn has worked as a licensed massage therapist since 2008 and was ordained as an interfaith minister in 2014 and is the new president for the Diabetes Education and Research Center Foundation that was founded in 1967 by her beloved grandfather, Dr. Garfield G. Duncan. She's a fairly new member of USG and is in the congregation's envoy to the Unitarian Universalist United Nations office. Carolyn has been married for 16 years to her husband, Sam, and they have a daughter named Emma. Welcome, Carolyn. Thank you for your warm welcome. Um, it is such an honor and delight to be with you today. And good morning. The reading that I'm offering to you today is from a book called Sadhana of the Heart. The book is a collection of New Year's messages offered by Guru Mai Chidvalasanandana, who is the spiritual head of the Siddha Yoga Path. She is a Siddha Guru and a meditation master. In Sadhana of the Heart, she shares her loving intention for the spiritual progress of every human being. In 1995, she shares this with us. During the last Christmas retreat, I had a dream. I found myself speaking to a, gr a group of beings who were not from this world. I asked them the following question. How can I truly convey the experience of joy and living in joy to the people of this earth? One of them said, it is not easy. No sooner that he said that than appeared an incredible manifestation. It was shaped somewhat like a long tunnel, and at the end of it was an extraordinary and beautiful radiance. One of the beings asked me, can you see that very farthest point where that brilliance is? That is the abode of joy. We all had to travel such a long, long distance to reach that place. And when you get there, you realize that it is not a place at all, but a state. Can you imagine how far away that is? Can you imagine being there and trying to tell people here what the abode of joy is all about? Do you have any idea how difficult that is? With great respect, I entreated the being again and again. There has got to be a way. Even though the abode of joy is unimaginably far away, still you can see its light from here. That can give people great hope. The divine being smiled and replied, that is why those who have been to the abode of joy have to walk on the earth. They embody the bliss of that realm, and they radiate its joy wherever they go.